Okay, good afternoon uh, all of you. Uh, sorry, we are uh, running little late, uh, but very quickly I would like to give uh, an idea about the, the course that uh, is being planned, uh, uh, which is titled as Solar Photovoltaics uh, Fundamentals, Technologies and Applications. And this course will run uh, from uh, 12th to 22nd December uh, uh, this year. Uh, so, uh, as you can notice that the, the course on solar photovoltaics is a not a normal course, uh, which normally you will find in engineering colleges. So, why there is a need for such a course on photovoltaics? And so, I will quickly go through this uh, few slides, which will uh, give an idea. First, which, uh, which I guess everybody knows about uh, today's energy scenario, particularly India's energy scenario that uh, whatever conventional energy sources that we use uh, have limitation in terms of the availability. Uh, it has uh, uh, environmental uh, pollution, uh, the, ne the negative impact on the environmental and also there is a question of energy security. Uh, so, these all three factors which are uh, kind of very well uh, noticed uh, in the last uh, couple of decades and therefore, lot of governments are uh, putting efforts to uh, bring uh, non-conventional energy sources in the portfolio and India is no exception. So, therefore, uh, we need to find out alternative sources to the fossil uh, fuel based sources like coal, uh, uh, diesel, petrol, etcetera. Uh, so, therefore, as I said, Indian government is also putting lot of efforts to promote solar energy as one of the alternative source, uh, the wind energy, uh, biomass and there are the other possibilities, but solar energy is one of the major uh, uh, renewable energy resource that is available uh, to our country particularly. Uh, and as a uh, and uh, just to promote the solar energy, the government of India has launched this uh, Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission, uh, which was launched uh, last year in January. And the target of this National Solar Mission is to actually implement uh, about 20,000 megawatts of solar power, which which includes solar photovoltaics uh, as well as solar thermal in the country by uh, 2022. Uh, and uh, it's a state go it's a, a central government policy, but many state governments are also coming forward and uh, and making their own policies and promoting solar energy. So, for instance, uh, go Gujarat government has their own policy and they are uh, very aggressive on that policy. So, there, there is a plan to have 500 megawatts uh, installed by 2014 by Gujarat uh, itself, and there are many other states, uh, including Maharashtra. Andhra Pradesh uh, were planning to bring such uh, capacities. Uh, so, I, I feel that uh, by year 2022, 20,000 megawatt will be, uh, 20,000 megawatt of solar power will be actually a small number and we will have much more installed capacity uh, in the country. So, what this national solar mission is doing is trying to promote solar energy and various aspects related to solar energy, which includes technologies, uh, the feed in tariff plan. Uh, there is the renewable energy per se obligations, the domestic production of the PV as well as thermal technology, uh, <coughs> the, the implementation side, the scalability issues and you know, how we can you know reach up to 20,000, what are the various applications, whether this PV uh, technology is to be connected with the grid or it can be also be off grid. So, there are various issues uh, that uh, relates to the, the solar photovoltaic uh, technology and the, the ecosystem surrounding it. So, one such issue which I have highlighted here in green is actually the manpower uh, generation and it is estimated that uh, if you want to achieve the targets of Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission, we must have 100,000 trained people in the country uh, in the coming years. But our own estimate suggests that this 100,000 uh, is a smaller number and we would require something like 300,000 people. So, it clearly indicates that uh, there is a huge shortage of manpower at various level uh, in solar PV technology field uh, and this level may be a technician, uh, may be engineering or uh, even at a research managerial at all levels we, we actually need a lot of manpower. And therefore, uh, such a course, uh, such a training program for the teachers uh, is, uh, is important because teachers then can train you know several students and we we will have significant training done in the solar photovoltaics. Also, uh, the government of India, the, the uh, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has uh, funded a, a, a big project uh, to IIT Bombay. It is called National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education. And as you can see from this chart, 
under this center we are doing various activities which includes uh, research and research in various areas silicon cells new materials pv modules systems power electronics but we are also focusing on you know characterization modeling and simulation uh, but uh, education is a important uh, aspect of, of our uh, national center and therefore a lot of activities are being done at iit bombay to uh, educate and train people in the field of solar photovoltaics so here is the some of the programs that we are doing for example we are running several uh, courses uh, which is for our btech mtech msc and phd students uh, uh, we are also preparing the, the course material, so that other engineering college uh, can make use of it, which will include not only the uh, not only the lecture materials, but also the laboratory kits and teachers training program, uh, about which I am talking to you right now uh, and things like that. So, we are also uh, working uh, towards training people with, uh, with, uh, and students and teachers and scientists outside the uh, IIT uh, campus. We are also doing distance education program. Uh, like one which will have on PV and training programs for the industry. So, we are also running lot of uh, short term training programs about 4 to 5 programs we run every year uh, on PV technology various aspects of PV fundamentals technologies power electronics and things like that. Uh, <coughs> so, this course uh, which we will run in December uh, uh, this year will uh, is mainly divided in two parts. Uh, the part 1 will uh, cover the fundamentals and technologies. So, it will be about 20 hour lectures and it will cover the, the basics of semiconductor physics, theory of p n junction, operation of p n junction, parameters of cell, solar cell design, uh, fabrication of solar cell, particularly crystalline silicon solar cell, which is the main uh, workhorse of the P V industry, P V module uh, uh, and its variation output uh, in output power as a function of temperature radiation. These are the very fundamental thing that uh, uh, people working in PV area must understand from the technology point of view. But in the second part, we will also be looking at the applications for PV technology, which will include various power electronics. Uh, uh, for example, the grid connected and off grid uh, systems, uh, the charge controller, DC to DC converter, inverters. Uh, we will uh, then look at the maximum power point tracking, energy storage options, uh, solar radiation availability. Uh, and uh, eventually the design of the whole PV system and various uh, uh, costing related to it. For example, life cycle costing and eventually estimating what is the cost of electricity that you uh, can generate using solar photovoltaic technology. So, uh, this course is a very comprehensive and, and basically covers fundamental aspects of the PV technology uh, starting from materials, uh, fundamentals, technologies and uh, as well as applications. So, teaching faculty for this will be uh, Professor B. G. Fernandez, uh, who is a professor at electrical engineering department uh, and uh, here is the web page. You can have a more details about uh, his, uh, his research work and uh, his teaching activities. He will mainly be covering the electronics part of it and uh, <coughs> to cover the fundamentals and technologies part myself, I am Chetan Singh Solanki from department of energy science and engineering. So, you can have the more details uh, about my work and my teaching activities uh, from this web page. Uh, <coughs> so, we will be doing two other things. One is we will be giving this uh, book, uh, which I wrote uh, uh, about two years back, uh, which is uh, titled as Solar Photovoltaics Fundamentals, Technologies and Applications. So, we will be giving this book as a reference book, uh, but uh, some other material will al also be given, uh, where you can use it uh, for the reference purpose uh, for this course. Uh, <coughs> So, other than the lectures, the, the very important thing that we must do is of course, the tutorials and the experiments. Uh, typically, solar uh, field is something where you, you have to do the practical experiment and a first hand experiment, not, not just a simulation. Uh, so, other than delivering the lectures through the A view, which you are receiving right now, uh, similar to that, we will also have the kind of contents provided for the tutorials, but most importantly, we will give, we are actually designing the laboratory kits uh, for the uh, for the people, for the teachers and the coordinators centers. Uh, so, what we will do is we will actually assemble this laboratory kits at IIT Bombay and then we will be distributing this laboratory kits to uh, those remote centers and the, the participants at the remote centers will be able to do experiments on their own. So, there will be about 10 experiments and this uh, uh, laboratory kits will be given to the remote centers. So, so, that will be unique feature that not only the, the lectures 
but you will also be able to do the experiment on solar energy. Uh, so, about 8 to 10 experiment will be provided, uh, 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 where, it, uh, the, where you can do the experiment in the remote centers. Of course, our long term perspective, uh, perspective is not only the, and this uh, actually experiment will be more on the characterization, but we will also want people to do the fabrication of solar cells. So, in a, in a, in a later, uh, maybe one year down the line, we will also make uh, uh, laboratory kits, where people can make solar cell uh, themselves. So, but that will come uh, as a later part of it. Uh, as it says, uh, we, uh, we are doing uh, this course in December, but we are starting the registration uh, from 15th uh, July itself. So, very, very soon from now. So, that you can register here and uh, take appropriate permissions uh, from your college and, and the remote centers. All the list of the remote centers are mentioned here, but I think you can also uh, find uh, the details about the remote centers uh, at Eclavia web page, uh, which you must be aware of already. So, thank you very uh, much for uh, your uh, attention and I hope uh, that uh, many of the interested faculty members uh, do join this for, uh, for this course and uh, let others know who are interested in the energy and particularly in the solar energy, uh, it, this course uh, may be very useful for them and the students for the future. Thank you very much. <coughs> if there are any questions uh, related to this uh, course. Uh, uh, please, uh, please ask your questions. Okay, so there are some question. Uh, for example, uh, what is the maximum efficiency we achieved in solar cells? So maximum efficiency is uh, 43 percent, more than 43 percent, for the multi-junction solar cells. Can we make uh, DSSR? That is dye-sensitized solar. I guess it is dye-sensitized solar cell from the plant leaves. Uh, actually, any material that absorbs uh, the solar radiation and uh, can conduct electricity. Uh, having a, a semiconductor property uh, be able to use for any solar cell applications. So, it has to be absorbing the light, it must be having semiconductor properties and it must be uh, a electric uh, conductor of electricity. My question is, I have not taken any energy management subject, but can I attend this workshop and what are the prerequisites for this uh, course? Over. Okay, so, this uh, course, uh, uh, I mean energy management is not a prerequisite, uh, particularly this course uh, is open to many branches, because uh, we will be covering fundamentals, uh, but uh, it would be like uh, uh, preferable to have a kind of background in electrical, electronics, physics. Uh, so, basically this course on solar energy is not uh, associated with one particular department. So, uh, depending on the interest, uh, it can be made, op uh, made uh, op open to other uh, disciplines, but like more preferably to electrical electronics, uh, physics, uh, sometime uh, many uh, mechanical departments across the country and across the world actually run the solar energy uh, related courses. Hello, I have one more question. I am the coordinator for this course in our college. Uh, we need uh, teaching assistants familiar with uh, the basics of uh, the topics in this particular course. And I am finding it very difficult to find such persons. So, how to handle this? Yeah, hello. Uh, uh, good to see you. I just uh, remember that uh, we were, you were there in the coordinators workshop. Uh, so, what you are saying is, is, is correct that because it is not a common course uh, being taught uh, in the engineering colleges right now. So, it may be difficult, but uh, uh, I think as you can see there are two parts. One is on the, the, the semiconductor heavily on semiconductor the part one and technologies and the part two is more on electronic side. So, you may choose a TA uh, which may have some background in semiconductor and maybe a TA which may have some background in uh, uh, electronics or power electronic side. So, I guess uh, a combination of the, the two type of TA uh, would uh, be able to do the job. And you can uh, not only student, but you can choose your faculty members uh, uh, to be a TA for this course. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a suggestion. Uh, if you can send your book early, uh, then we can probably train some of our students as a teaching assistants. Okay, so uh, book uh, I just inquired before coming for this lecture. Book uh, will be uh, we will be getting book uh, at IIT in about ten days. 
and then uh, we can uh, send the book to various uh, coordinator centers. And later we will make arrangement to send the books for the participants directly to the, the coordinator, uh, to the remote centers. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I want to know the recent research, research activities going on at IIT Bombay in the use of nanoparticles in cellular solar cells. Okay, uh, yeah, definitely we I can answer that, but uh, if there are questions related to course directly, it would be nice. Uh, so, there are a lot of uh, work going on where people are working on uh, uh, like uh, silicon uh, nanocrystals, uh, uh, titanium dioxide, dye sensitized using semiconductors sensitized and dye sensitized solar cell. Uh, uh, some people are beginning to look at the organic solar cell. So, there are many areas where uh, like plasmonics also the metal nanoparticles uh, as well. So, there are many. Uh, aspects or various different PV technologies where the nano materials are being used. And you are most welcome to come and use the facilities. Uh, uh, so, this uh, facility we have in terms of uh, 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 this uh, nano electronic center as well as uh, national solar uh, photovoltaic center, both of them will have the facilities straight up the art facilities which anybody can uh, come and use it. Okay, thank you uh, very much everybody. You can visit the web page, uh, Eclave web page where you will find more details about the course. Thank you.